Honorable Member for Kapirimposhi. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. It's an honor to speak on behalf of the, the millions of youths across the country. Mr. Speaker, this subject is extremely important. I recall, sir, that on the 23rd of January this year, 2020, I chaired a meeting here at Parliament where this issue was also discussed in the Budget Committee. We, I recall we established that the Youth Development Fund was actually suspended by the PF government five years ago. Now, Mr. Speaker, a suspension of five years is actually an abolishment of, a, of an important policy. The youths in this country, something has moved because of decisions like this. Something in the hearts and minds of the young people in this country has moved because we have come to the realization that this government is not with us. And in fact, it has never been with us. When it comes to jobs, it's the same thing. It is this same government, Mr. Speaker, that, when, that at one point made an announcement to say, youths of this country must migrate to Dubai and become house servants and taxi drivers. The government asking its own young people because of their failure to fund empowerment funds, to provide funds for empowerment. They asked us to migrate, leave this country, leave the land of our forefathers, the land on which our own umbilical cords are buried. The government requested the young people of this country to move to Dubai, to leave the land which has gold, diamonds, emeralds, forests, lakes, and rivers. This is the government we are faced with, and we are not willing to negotiate when it comes to funding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the economy became very bad, Mr. Speaker, the youths complained. We've been hard hit more than anybody else as young people. We had a pronouncement this time from the outgoing tenants of State House. They said they will cut their own salaries to mitigate the effects of a bad economy on young people. How can an individual salary seriously be distributed to 4.8 million youths? Our frustrations and our disgruntlement as young people, Mr. Speaker, has seen knee-jerk reactions from this government. Just a few weeks ago, when the youths wanted to do a protest, a peaceful one for that matter, the minister responsible for this fund called for a meeting at government complex, advised 50 people to say there were, there were opportunities in mining, opportunities in, in manufacturing. What opportunities, Mr. Speaker? When what we have seen is that from last year, our economy is effectively in a recession. What opportunities are there? There are no opportunities. Mr. Speaker, we need to succeed in this country first. If you do a simple analysis, Mr. Speaker, there's been an inverse relationship between the welfare of the young people in this country and the welfare of these ministers here. We have seen a creation of billionaires. Honorable member, you don't have that liberty to debate your colleagues in that fashion. Concentrate on the subject. Correct. It's an emotional subject for us, Mr. Speaker. I withdraw that. But Mr. Then, Speaker, in view of the things that I've mentioned so far and the time that is allocated to me, I just want to say to the government that we are aware that billionaires have been created in this country at the detriment of the young people. It is difficult to succeed in this country, whether you're a student, and there's no system whatsoever that has been established by the Patriotic Front to absorb young people in this economy. We are not participants. An example is any young, any young youth in this country with a child, whether it's from the Patriotic Front, from MMD, or from anywhere, we all go to the same shops. And the prices of commodities have become too high. Education is too expensive. Food is too expensive. Everything is expensive, not to mention electricity. If it is a young farmer in Kapiri, for instance, government failed to deliver inputs. What kind of empowerment is there? But there is hope for our people, Mr. Speaker. The arrogance of numbers that have been used here by the Patriotic Front, the youth now are ready to show the country the true meaning of the arrogance of numbers. We shall take a leaf from the youth in Malawi, and from now onwards, it's game on. Mr. Speaker, I thank you.